marbles. <laughs> Sergey and I tried to play three-dimensional marbles. Sergey's first problem is releasing the balls without losing them. They stick to his fingers a bit and begin moving apart as he pulls his hands away. Our goal is to hit a floating ball with the shooter. If the ball leaves the area, we score. Watch the trouble we have playing this simple game. Why is it harder to play marbles in space? Observe the difference that mass makes in an impact. The dark rubber balls have more mass than the light wooden balls. We're not any good at this. Watch the three different balls bounce. Notice that the result is the same on each bounce. One black rubber ball leaves the wall traveling the fastest, followed by the white wooden ball, and then the slowest, the second rubber ball with a red stripe. The speed that the ball has leaving the wall depends on how much energy the ball keeps in its bounce. The black rubber ball keeps most of its energy and leaves the wall with nearly the same speed as it has on impact. The other rubber ball transfers most of its energy to the floor on the bounce and thus leaves the floor slowly. Note that on Earth, the dead ball would barely rise from the floor. Can you figure out why it bounces so high in the space station, even though its speed is slow? The striped rubber balls are made of a material that absorbs impacts with minimal bounce. Sergei bounces these into each other first. Now compare this to two colliding white wooden balls. Compare this reaction to what happens when the bouncy black balls collide. Now predict what will happen when Sergei bounces a white ball into a black ball. Compare that with bouncing a black ball into a white one. For the next experiment, see if you can tell the difference when a striped ball hits a black ball. These two balls have almost the same mass. Now watch a black ball hit a striped ball. Finally, predict what will happen when a striped ball hits a white ball. And how will the hit change when the white ball is hitting a striped ball? What conclusions can you make from your observations of these different collisions?